If you don't know about these five tips, you might be leaving money on the table. Today, we're talking about the active trader on Thinkorswim, and that will help you make more money in the stock market. Let's get into it. Thinkorswim is a great platform, and it's very powerful. But as a new trader, or at the very least, someone new to the platform, you don't know what you don't know, right? Before I knew about the active trader, I used to enter my orders by going to the option chain, my activity and positions, or even the chart and manually creating an order via right click. The amount of time doing it this way had a huge impact on the fill I would get on my orders. I mean, I didn't know any better, but every time I'd place an order, I'd keep saying to myself, this is annoying, this sucks, there's gotta be a better way. Now I had known about the active trader probably about as long as I've been using Thinkorswim. It'd been staring me in the face every time I viewed the option chain. But I think I was intimidated by it, and even after I decided to start using it, it took a while for me to dig deeper and learn the true power of the Active Trader, its customization, and what it has to offer me as a trader. The Active Trader is an order execution tool on Thinkorswim, and it's designed to help you execute trades faster and with the right setup, get you better fills. You can find the Active Trader on the Trade tab by clicking here and clicking Active Trader. Now yours may look a little bit different than mine, but that's because I've done a little bit of customization. And you can do that by clicking on this little grid here and uh, adding as many charts as you choose. In addition to the Active Trader, you can actually add it to your charts as well by clicking on any of your charts and clicking Active Trader, or in your case, possibly AT, depending on the resolution of your screen. So now that we have our Active Trader going, it's time to get into the first tip. And that is, there's more than market buttons. Now, if you don't care about your fill price and you want to get in or out of a trade, then market orders really are the fastest way, but you should know that there are other options. Buy to ask, buy to bid, join the bid, etc. Now to add these buttons, you click on the settings cog, and you can see here all of the options that are available. And it's just as simple as clicking and dragging over, or selecting a few and clicking the add items button. And once you're happy with the buttons that you added, go ahead and click OK, and you can see them in action. And before we get into our next tip, I want to show you some settings that relate to the Active Trader. And for this, we have to go to Setup Application Settings, Order Defaults. And so from here, uh, for instance, if you change the quantity uh, of orders here on stocks from 100, you'll notice that these buttons here will change respectively. And you cannot change these particular buttons independently. Um, they will always be a multiple, as you see here. So for example, on stocks, if the default here is 100, then um, this will show up as 100, 300, 500, 1000, and 2000. Similarly, for options, if the default order here is 1, you're going to see it just like I have on my screen here. But if we change it to two, then you can see that these have changed by the same multiple. One, three, five, ten, and twenty. And this is actually a perfect segue for my next tip, which is you can trade options in the Active Trader. And all you need to do is go to the op options chain, right click on an option that you're wanting, wanting to buy or sell, and send it to one of your linked windows. Now for me personally, on my setup, I have uh, calls on my number two link and puts on my number three link. In addition, if you don't have linked windows, you can choose uh, right click, copy, and if you were to paste this in any of these uh, drop downs here, then it would also load that particular option into the chart. Now on to the third tip, using the trade ladder. The trade ladder acts like a level 2 in that you can see the bid and ask size of orders. And in my first tip, we talked about adding various buy and sell buttons to the AT. But with the trade ladder, you're going to be trading more proactively rather than reactively. And there's settings you can customize, but for me, the only thing I like to add is the PL open. Now whether or not this is a good idea for you is a completely different video, but it's a setting that I think you should know about, and the option is there. Entering an order with the trade ladder is really easy. You just click on the bid or ask column at the price you want, and once you've entered an order, you can revise the trade by dragging it up or down on the trade ladder. And lastly, if you want to see more or fewer prices in the ladder, then click on the zoom in and zoom out buttons here. 
and this button to center to whatever the current price is. And before I get into this next tip, I just want to say, if you're like I used to be, and you had a hard time letting go of your losers, you just lacked the discipline to sell that contract, cut your loss, and move on to the next trade, this is for you. You're going to want to watch this because this is going to take your trading to the next level and force you to have that discipline that you just don't have right now. And not only that, it can offload some of the stress we feel when managing our trades. And for my fourth tip, and in my opinion, the best feature of the Active Trader, we're going to configure order templates. Order templates are great because they allow us to do things like create stop loss and even a target price all at the same time. What's even more awesome is you can do multiple bracket orders at the same time, which can allow you to design your own system for scaling out of a trade if you're trading multiple contracts or commons. And before we get started here, there are a couple of settings you should know about. So first, go to Setup, Application Settings, Active Trader. From here we just want to make sure that we have the order submission rate and the price ladder refresh rate uh, at the fastest setting they can be. And also, in my opinion, you should make sure that the reset AT order template is checked. Alright, so now that settings are squared away, let's get into the money. You may have heard of OCO orders. One cancels other. And the concept here is really simple. You're going to create a buy order with a stop limit order and a target limit order all at the same time. And although there is an OCO template, it's garbage. So we're going to focus on these trigger bracket orders. Starting with the first single bracket order, you can see that we have the stop and limit. But let me draw your attention to the offset column. As you can see here, the default is 1, but more importantly, this is a dollar amount. Now what's really cool here is that you can click on these icons to change this from a value to tick, and my personal favorite, percentage. And once you have defined the parameters you like, click the save icon and choose a name that's meaningful to you. Now let's see what it looks like to place an order with this template. Also note that you can move your order up and down the trade ladder, and it will automatically adjust the brackets accordingly. But suppose you want to manage the profit taking side of the trade yourself, and you only really want the stop order in place. That's simple. Just uncheck the box here for the limit order and save your template, and then you'll have a buy with a stop order. Now the 2 and 3 bracket versions function exactly the same, but with one main difference. In the single bracket order, you're all in and all out in one order. With multiple bracket orders, you can scale out portions of your position over 2 or 3 orders. Now of course, you do you, and define these parameters according to your risk tolerance, but this is just what I'm using for demonstration purposes. Starting from the bottom, and I'll explain why shortly, let's set our stops all at 10%, and then each bracket will configure 10, 15, and 20% targets. Now save this template. So notice how the top two brackets have zero quantity, and the third has one? This is because my quantity in the order box is one. And so what's going on here is the template is trying to distribute the quantity you're ordering across the brackets. And you'll see as soon as I increase the quantity to 3, all brackets will have 1. So we're effectively scaling out one position per bracket. And you'll see as we increase the quantity, it starts to distribute your shares and contracts between all the brackets. And if you know the full details about this, leave a comment down below. And for my fifth and final tip, using AutoSend. By enabling this, you can enter your orders instantaneously and avoid all of those pesky and occasionally extremely laggy confirmation windows. And that's all! But remember, come on, before you tune out, subscribe! and hit the notification bell, because who knows when I'm going to make another video. I sure as heck don't know. And if you want to support this content in any way, check out my affiliate links in the description below. Peace. I don't know any better, but every time I would place an order, I kept saying to myself, <clears throat>